Okay. Well, that's how they Wherever you here. are in the world, please the keep us company the for the test. next five minutes the or so. Final. It's a lineup of unprecedented quality. Please welcome Twice the European eight, silver medalist on the outside, Anna Rizakova. How well has she done to make this final with all that's going on back home? Second in the Oslo Diamond Elite League, she Panama, could contribute to a great South race. Jana Woodruff, seventh last year in Tokyo. An area record just to make this Lane final. Dalila Mohammed, the defending Seven champion, Seven the former Seven Olympic Seven champion, Seven the second fastest in history. She looks Lane nervous. The, USA, the Olympic the champion, champion, the world record holder. This is the only title she doesn't own. Her Elena face, a picture of concentration. The the Femke Boll, the Femke third Ball. fastest athlete in history. Bronze in the Olympics last year. Undefeated this season, she's going to need Elena the race of her life to upgrade the from United third America, from Japan. Shamir Champions Little, she's the fifth Shamir fastest Little. in history. Silver medal back in Beijing, and she's back in the final where she believes she belongs. Rochelle Clayton, a bronze medalist in Doha. She had a PB to make this final. A lifetime best to get in the shake-up. Britain Wilson, NCAA champion. The third fastest in the world this year. What an occasion for her. Wilson, Jim, Wilson. USA in one, Clayton, Jamaica two, Little, USA three, Boll, Netherlands four, McLaughlin, USA five, Mohammed, USA six, Woodruff, Panama seven, Rizakova, Ukraine in eight. The Olympic champion, the defending champion, and marks. the fastest European the event has ever seen. All three Tokyo medalists renewing a rivalry that is helping to lift them and our sport to unprecedented levels. Are we about to witness our first world record of the championship? It's the final of the women's 400 metre hurdles. Set. McLaughlin goes in lane five. Ball just inside her, and McLaughlin pulling away from the Dutch woman. Remember, they're both undefeated this season, and we've got Mohammed going fast. On the outside, already past Woodruff and closing down on Rizakova. McLaughlin's gone storming past Dalila Mohammed. Femke Boll trying to get in the mix for a podium finish. But this is about McLaughlin and it's about the clock. Remember, they are the three fastest we've ever seen. And McLaughlin is in front by miles. Watch the clock. 51-41 is the world record. This is utterly staggering. Take a moment to savour this. We're watching a once-in-a-generation athlete performing at the peak of her powers, and it is a new world record. Femke Boll takes the silver, Dalila Mohammed the bronze. People in the stadium are on their feet. They're stunned. They're utterly stunned, and so is she. She has smashed the world record. How could she be that far clear from the second and third fastest athletes ever? We may never, we may never see her like again, and we should savour every single second of this. What Varholm did in Tokyo last year, McLaughlin has done, and then some, here in Eugene. We knew she had a chance to break the world record, but to absolutely obliterate it is extraordinary. Sydney McLaughlin goes down in history as one of the all-time great athletes of any event over any distance. How could she do that to such a high-quality field? She's beaten the defending champion. She's beaten two women who have never been beaten by anyone other than her. And she smashed them all. McLaughlin with the performance of the championship and a moment that will never, never be forgotten. They say feel the glory here at Haywood Field, and she has, and thanks to her, so have we all. What a night, what a night for Sydney McLaughlin.
the noise in the stadium, the passion from this home crowd. They've been waiting for this moment. Sydney McLaughlin doesn't race an awful lot. She won that USA title in a world record. And she said, I love Hayward Field. I love Eugene. It brings out an extra special moment for me every time I perform here. I'm sure she would have been hoping for a world record, but to nip underneath 50 sec 51 seconds, phenomenal. Rob mentioned comparing that to the flat 400, just for reference, that time would have got her seventh place in the women's 400 metre final we just had. It's like the hurdles just match her stride perfectly. And a brilliant second place there from Femke Bolt, equaling her season's best coming into the championships. Converting the bronze in Tokyo to silver here in Eugene. We thought she might win, but by that much, that quickly and, and in bowl we're looking at a, a fabulous fabulous talent a second silver for bowl after anchoring the dutch mixed relay team home to the silver it was almost bizarre to see her that far ahead of everyone else coming round the final bend especially when you knew the quality elsewhere in the race Mohamed, Mohamed should be over the moon with that with that bronze medal because she hasn't had an easy season. She's been around a long, long time. She won the World Youth title back in 07, and she's still delivering performances like that. 53-1-3. That's a fabulous bronze for Mohamed. And Femke Boll upgrading her Olympic bronze to a silver. But that is the image that will be on the front and back pages of all the newspapers tomorrow. 50... 50.68, not over the flat, over the hurdles. That is every bit, every bit as impressive as Varholm's world record last year in Tokyo. It truly is, and, and when you think, we know that Sydney McLaughlin is streets ahead of the rest of the world in women's 400 metres hurdles. She knows that. It's still stressful. You've still got to come and compete and perform. But to push yourself day in, day out, you're your Olympic champion in a world record. Sydney McLaughlin has gone straight back to training and tried to find those extra 1%, those extra 10% to push herself on. You forget she got married this year, Sydney McLaughlin, as well. She's not had a simple year. She's had lots of personal goals going on within her athletic goals and such a professional executing just a race for the ages she's miles clear at this stage i'll tell you what was really impressive about femke bolt that she didn't panic and try and chase her if she had it done she wouldn't have won the silver because she would have had nothing left look at the strength of the dutch woman coming round here and yet look how far behind she was MK Bowl and Mohammed, they would have thought all year, what can we do to get on terms with Sydney McLaughlin? I'm sure there's a part of them that thought they might not manage it, but it will have helped them in the depths of winter as they were training hard. But ultimately, it's all they could do is fight out for a silver and bronze behind her. And Mohammed, she has said she's had tremendous injury issues this year. It was a hamstring, she couldn't finish the USA, she ran the rounds at the USA, she couldn't contend the final. Uh, to turn that round in time for a bronze medal and get two American athletes on a podium is fantastic running. Poetry in motion. There is no such thing as perfection in sport. There can't be by the nature of what it is. But that's very, very, very close to it. Sydney McLaughlin said after USA's, when she ran that fantastic time, that world record, record at the time, she said it wasn't the perfect race. There's more in the tank. Um, and we, of course, we believe her. She knows her body. She knows her stride pattern. She knows what she's capable of. But that much better? Did even she believe she could do that? And if Sydney McLaughlin walks away from this and says that wasn't the perfect race, uh, then I'll be flabbergasted. But hey ever the perfectionist I'm sure that's what's propelled her to these tremendous performances and hopefully it will keep her in front for many years to come well you almost have to feel sorry for Femke Boll a, a wonderful wonderful run from her 52.27 she is one of the fastest in history and yet she just happens to have come along at the same time as the greatest 
I think there was a fraction of a second there where she couldn't quite believe what she had achieved. Even she couldn't believe it. It's that moment where you wait for someone to say, no, no, it's someone else, you know, cameraman ran in front of the, ca the, the line at the last minute or something like that, stop the clock early. Clock, clock stop five <laughs> metres before the line, doesn't count. <laughs> but no, that, was, uh, that wasn't what happened, I can assure you. I said, massive world record for Sydney McLaughlin. It is massive to knock that larger chunk off your world record. It's just outstanding. Well, again, I mean, you almost run out of the statistics. That time means she's run almost a second faster than the next fastest woman in history, which is Dalila Mohammed at 51.58 in Tokyo last year. We've been talking about the fact that it's so important for athletics to get a big, big profile in the States. If that doesn't do it, nothing will. Sydney McLaughlin was the moment of the championship. A gigantic, gigantic world record.